Welcome back to Hannity and joining us now to talk more about Mueller and Rosenstein and of course Comey and investigation creep as I call it from CircaNews.com, Sarah Carter, Fox News anchor, attorney Greg Jarrett. All right, I want to go to both of you. This is really dangerous to me, Sarah, and I want to bring you in this first. Okay, we started out Trump-Russia collusion, reason for investigation. Okay, then somehow Rosenstein, the guy that recommended two-page brutal takedown to why you should fire Comey, is now saying, well, firing Comey may be obstruction. He recommended it. And then we're going into finances. Then we're going into Mueller literally leaking daily or somebody in his office to the Washington Post. This, to me, is beyond dangerous. If they've now moved, once it's been proven Trump-Russia collusion doesn't exist, why are they even still working on this? That's the question that everyone has. That's the question that I have. I mean, if there is absolutely no evidence that they have as of yet, and they haven't had in the past seven months, that Trump or his team Ten months. Uh, colluded with the Russians, Right, 10 months. Yeah, 10 months, 10 months. And so if there's, there's no evidence that they colluded with the Russians, why are they continuing to push for an investigation? You brought it up, mission creep. This is mission creep by the Justice Department. And there's a lot of questions as to the people that Mueller's hired, uh, Democratic donors, uh, backers of Hillary Clinton, the Clinton Foundation, connections to the Clinton Foundation, especially with Ray. And what we're looking at is a, is a serious problem and, and particularly ethical conflicts. And this isn't coming, uh, you know, just from certain lawmakers. This is coming from people with Within the FBI who are very concerned about the relationship that Mueller also has with Comey. And I think that this is something that needs to be taken very seriously. And there is reason why the Trump administration, why President Trump but, would be and should be concerned about this. Well, a concern, I mean, Greg, here you have Comey leaks to the New York Times for the very purpose of getting a special counsel. Rosenstein wrote the letter that Comey should be fired now is 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 helping to get the BFF of Comey, Mueller, in there. Then he hires, as Sarah points out, Hillary's attorney on, on the Clinton Foundation to avoid FOIA requests and donors to Obama and Hillary. Wow. Can, can there possibly be any more conflicts, which is why Comey, oh, yeah. which is why Mueller and Rosenstein need to go, in my opinion. You know, to borrow a phrase, Sean, from John Dean, there's a cancer within except the cancer here is within the special counsel office. Mueller is violating the law. Comey has violated the law. Rosenstein continues to violate the law by refusing to disqualify himself. And these are the three central figures in all of this. There's a reason why ethical rules exist to prevent favoritism and prejudice. And yet, all three of these individuals are ignoring the law with impunity. I have a theory here. They know there's no collusion, so they can't prove a case there. So what prosecutors, in my experience as a defense attorney, is that they try to conjure criminality where it doesn't exist. And so they are they're contorting their existence. They're contorting the law of obstruction to try to make a case when under the statute it cannot exist given the facts that we know. Right. There would have to be that a threat. Exactly, there would have to be a threat, a, a bribe, uh, or, or some other kind of hiding evidence, concealing evidence, and Comey alleges none. And, and that's exactly uh, what Alan Dershowitz said. He said, show me the person and I'll show you the crime. And then this raises other questions. Why are we, Sarah, investigating Loretta Lynch and her obvious obstruction? And did she put the kibosh on any, in spite of the evidence, any potential indictment of Hillary? Hillary Clinton's obvious felonies, mishandling, destroying of, of uh, classified information. Then, of course, we've got the, the foundation of Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton giving 20 percent of you uranium, American uranium assets. There's a Russia conspiracy to Vladimir Putin and getting kicked back millions from people involved for their foundation. Seriously? Well, there's so many questions, Sean, that haven't been answered with regard to the Uranium One deal, with regard to Ukraine, with regard to Haiti, with regard to the Clinton Foundation. None of those saw a special prosecutor. We didn't see a special prosecutor in those cases. And, and I think the big concern here is, for, especially for lawmakers, is what happened with Loretta Lynch. Right there, we know that Loretta Lynch asked... She asked Director Comey to call the investigation a matter, not an investigation. And what we know is 
Furthermore, that there was a uh, an email that Director Comey obtained between two political figures yeah. that suggested that Loretta Lynch was going to put the kibosh on any kind of indictment In the tank for Hillary. Uh, against Hillary Clinton. Yeah. Last words. So those Jarrett. are questions that need to be answered. You, Greg, uh, to me, there is collusion, there is obstruction, there are felonies committed, and there is a, 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 a conspiracy theory right. because Hillary, a Russian conspiracy, because Hillary conspired to give 20% of uranium to, to Vladimir Putin for money. You know, isn't it interesting that the two people in which there is some evidence of uh, illegality, Loretta Lynch, the former attorney general, and Hillary Clinton, are not being investigated here. I mean, all you have to do is go back and look at, at the tortured interpretation of the law that Comey offered last July 6th, and, and any lawyer will tell you there are plenty of prosecutors who would have brought that case under the Espionage yeah. Act. And here you have Loretta Lynch uh, politically interfering with an FBI investigation. And Comey, at the time, was so upset about it, he was thinking of calling for right, a special I prosecutor himself. All right, guys, great work. We will keep reporting, and I hope you, I know you guys will, what the rest of the media is ignoring and, frankly, has upside down and backwards. Thank you both. When we come back, I want to give you my take on Megyn Kelly's interview with InfoWars' Alex Jones, and we need your help. A very important question of the day. Straight ahead.